I'm Dan Harris, and here's what I'm fixated on this week. If you're a religious person, does that make you a happier person and a better citizen? There's some new research coming out from a Harvard professor by the name of Robert Putnam that says, yes. You argue that religious people are happier and better citizens. Yeah, we were a little surprised at how strong the evidence for this is. Um, by many different measures, religious people are more gen generous, I'm talking about religious people in general, not left or right, but religious people in general are more generous, they volunteer more, and not just by being ushers at church, but also volunteer for secular causes. They uh, give more, and again, not just to churches, but they give more to secular causes. They're more likely to be involved in community affairs, to work on community projects, to um, they're more likely to, to, um, to vote, and they're more likely to be in, involved in civic life of all sorts. They're more likely to let somebody cut in front of them in line, and as you say, they're, they express greater life satisfaction. But here's the twist. Professor Putnam says people aren't happier or nicer just because they are religious. It actually turns out not to have very much to do with religious beliefs. Um, you can't predict how nice someone's going to be or how generous or how civically involved from whether they believe in God or whether they don't or whether they you know, believe in a loving God or, a, or a, a judgmental God or even what denomination they are. This is true really across the board. What it turns out is that it's most affected by the social connections and the friends they have at church. That's right. It is the friends you make at your church or your temple or your mosque that make you happier and more involved in your community. And Professor Putnam says this is key. Friends you make at church are more powerful in this regard than friends you make at your golf club or your local bar. They are, as the professor says, supercharged friends. So in some sense, it's not so much faith itself that seems to be responsible for this greater civic engagement and greater community involvement and greater life satisfaction. It isn't so much faith itself as communities of faith. Interestingly, Professor Putnam says his research shows that if you are devoutly religious and go to church all the time but don't have any friends, you will not be as nice and you will not be as involved in your community as somebody who is a secret atheist but goes to church all the time and has lots of friends. By the way, uh, Professor Putnam's research will be coming out in a new book called American Grace. That will be coming out in about a year. That's going to do it for this week. For now, I'm Dan Harris. See you.